A beautiful morning to each and every one of you. You have now tuned in to Rhapsody of Realities. Hallelujah. Today is December the 2nd and our men of God would like to share a message entitled, He Will Make It Happen For You. Hallelujah. Our opening theme verse is from the book of John, chapter 16, verses 23 to 24. And I read, Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name, Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. Hallelujah. The phrase, He will give it to you in the verse above is didomi in Greek. And it means God will grant you what you require. He will make it happen for you. Hallelujah. What Jesus said in our theme verse gives us an opening invitation to ask anything in His name and expect to receive answers. Sadly, some people are not putting this to work, yet they whine and gripe over the predicaments. He said, Ask and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. He does not want you struggling through life, angry and miserable. He wants you joyful always. And he knows one of the ways to make that happen is having your request granted. You being in surplus and abundance. Perhaps today, your business is failing or has failed or your investments have gone down the drain. Perhaps you are facing serious challenges in any area of your life. The Lord is saying, ask what you will and I will make it happen for you. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that you want, don't cry, don't back, don't gripe. Just act on His word, ask and receive. Hallelujah. The Lord loves you. He is more passionate and determined for your success than you could ever be. So, whatever troubles you, present it to Him as He has said. In Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 7, He said, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. He has made more than enough provisions for you to make you joyful and fulfilled in life. The Bible says He gives us all things freely to enjoy. Yours is to simply trust Him. Ask in faith in the name of Jesus and receive. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, wherever you are, kindly raise your hand and take this prayer right after me. Dear Father, Thank you for this open invitation to ask anything in the name of Jesus and receive answers. You have proven time and time again that it is your delight to answer my prayers and graciously grant my heart's desires. I know I have all I require for life and godliness, for you have already made them available to me in Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Now, my brothers and sisters, I highly recommend that you take some time today to study these following scriptures in order for you to further understand today's message. From the book of Psalms, chapter 118, verses 8 to 9, preferably from the NLT. From the book of John, chapter 16, verses 23 to 24, preferably from the TPT. And from the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 8. Hallelujah. You know what to do. Subscribe, share this beautiful gospel to your world and tune in again tomorrow for another glorious edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Hallelujah. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. 
I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.